What is up guys, Brady with Mini Tech Clips, and today I'm going to be showing you how to stream Showbox to any um, Apple TV, Blu-ray, Sony Blu-ray player, um, an AV receiver, Smart TV, Xbox. Um, it doesn't work on PS3. I found with this application you have to do something else, and it's really, really stupid. Um, but anyways, let's get right to it. So first off, you want to open the Play Store. And you want to search for an app called Local Cast. Now there is one called All Cast, but it does the exact same thing, except it actually doesn't work. And that is because it just gives you a message that says no media available or something similar to that. I don't exactly remember, but you just want to install that. Oops, I need to open up my camera. And then you want to open the app, and then tap this stream button and find your device. Make sure both of those things are checked, and we can go ahead and hit Apple TV. Now you can see that there is a AV receiver. It's not a Blu-ray player. It's not. A, it's not any PlayStation. It's just something we watch TV from. And if I uh, stream to that or connect to it, I can play uh, any file. So you just tap Apple TV, and it should be connected. Let's go back and make sure. There, it's connected. So now we need to open up Showbox and find any movie or TV show that you want. And it does work with movies. I've tried both. Um, and it does work with TV shows. So down here where it says player, you just want to make sure that says external, not internal, because internal is going to play it from your regular phone screen. So make sure that says external, like I just said, and then just play it. And then it's going to ask you what you want to open with. I've already chosen to open it with local cast always. So it automatically goes to it. And then you get this message that says um, the stream is the stream set the cookie if you want to use this. It's like a password for the stream. Then the stream has to be routed through the phone. You can try without. I have no idea what that means. But I always just click don't use cookie. You can try using it. But it doesn't always work for me. So I just don't use it. And then... You can just hit play, and if you notice, the background just got darker because the episode of South Park was loading. And it is indeed playing. Indeed, I never say that word, but now I'm just going to pause it. Now, you saw me use the remote, but that's the next step. So, if you press the multitasking button, you will notice, you will notice that you're actually... Um, inside of Showcast in the Movie Box app. So if we click on Showbox, or I mean, if we click on Movie Box, we see that we're inside Showbox. So you just want to go to Local Cast, and you'll have all the controls. We can. It does lag a little bit, and there are ads that pop up every once in a while. But yeah, if if an ad pops up and it goes away, just switch back to the other app that also has Local Cast, and we can play it. Alright, so we can just pause that, and you can see the audio stopped because it just completely stopped. And then we can go ahead and play it. And like I said, it does lag a little bit, but it, it works. Um, I would recommend using the Apple TV remote just because you can stop and start it a lot quicker. Um, apparently this episode is about a leprechaun. But anyways, that's how to actually stream it. But if you want to go to, say, a Blu-ray player or that AV receiver like I talked about before, you're going to have to do something. So I'm just, just going to close Showbox, close everything else. You're going to need to obviously disconnect from the Apple TV. And then connect to whatever it is that you're going to be streaming to. I'm not actually going to click on that right now because my dad is watching TV, but I'll just demonstrate with the Apple TV because it still works in the same way. It's just the, it's just a different device. So you're going to go to folders and you're going to find Showbox. Now if I can find it, daddy pass it. For some reason, I couldn't find the Showbox folder, but I'm pretty sure it's because I don't have anything downloaded at the moment. But if you just go to your videos, 
I'm going to be playing a video of a hailstorm that just happened, like, yesterday. And this is the way to do it to a Blu-ray player because you can actually stream it. Um, but it does work the same way. Alright, so let's go that. Oops. This is videoed for my galaxy. And it's buffering for some reason because our, our internet sucks. But yeah, um, that's pretty much how to do everything. Um, Blu-ray player or anything else but an Apple TV as far as I know. You have to download it first and then select the file. But through an Apple TV, you can just stream whatever you want, which I think is nice. But, yeah, I, I don't even like Apple anyway. But, yeah, uh, that's it. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, if you follow everything I did in the video, you should be good to go. Peace.